Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Solo 4 and welcome to my next main Let's Play, The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Ah, I have wanted to do the Oracle games for quite a long time now, quite a long time. And uh, finally getting a chance to, you know, to do it because my other projects are done. Um, so yeah, the game starts off in the intro cutscene. Uh, this takes place after, uh, I guess after uh, Link to the Past, right? Or maybe after Link's Awakening, I suppose. Where he's going off and the Triforce goes and says, Hey, y'all gotta do something over here. And then warps him into a place with a giant tree. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the Oracle games came out in 2001. Uh, pretty much when the Game Boy Color was dead already. So, you know, the Game Boy Advance was, was on its way. Uh, I don't think it was out yet, but I don't know, future Doby will correct me. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... The, I, I thought that the games were kind of revolutionary at the time because the two games, uh, like Pokemon, linked together, but not in the way that you could do trading and stuff, but it was actually one consecutive game where all the things that you did in one game transferred over to the other, and that was really cool. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot, and uh, my friends and I played at the same time. We swapped each other's uh, passcodes uh, at the end of the game so that we could... Uh, you know, play each other's adventures in our own game, and uh, yeah, it was really nice. But anyway, we're gonna start a new file. I'm playing this on the virtual console. Uh, you could, uh, I also have it on the original Game Boy Color, but the quality from my Game Boy Player wasn't that great, and the GameCube controller is really tough to play with this game. So I'm opting for this. So let's, without uh, further ado, let's start a new game. We can't do the secrets or game link just yet. Uh, we must name ourselves, and I'm going to name ourselves. Name ourselves. I'm gonna name myself. What I usually do, and that's gonna be Dovey. CA. So, yeah, uh, I guess set the message speed to fast because if you don't do that, you're. I, that's just not. That's just not a good idea. Anyway, we're fallen. Accept our quest here. And we arrive in a strange place with a red, beautiful, red-haired woman waking us up. Listen to that music in the background. You don't hear this again in the game. Anyway, there seems to be some sort of wagon here. Spool Swamp, Eyeglass Lake, Horon Village. Goron Village? No, 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 no. Ooh, everybody's dancing. You're awake! Please relax, join our jovial troop of performers for a bit. Alright. Hello. Oh, your eyes are open. Are you alright? I'm Impa, the troop's cook. And you are? Dovi, I see. Din, the dancing girl, found you collapsed in the woods. She's cared for you through your nightmares. My nightmares, huh? But yeah, so Din's the dancing girl. Impa is a name that uh, we've heard before. Din is a popular dancer. Just seeing her dance raises one's spirits. Is the little fire animation from uh, Link's Awakening. Um, I'm gonna be referencing that game a whole bunch because it uses the, pretty much the same graphics engine, just Game Boy Color only, uh, and with obviously new sprites and such. Din has been caring for you since she found you. She's strong-willed, but very kind-hearted. Ah, Din always looks so lovely, but she seems smitten with you. I'm jealous. I chip it. You've awakened. Good. I was worried. I worried while you slept. You're Dovey, right? How do you do, Dovey? I am Din. I saw a red flash in the woods, and when I went to see what it was, you were lying there. Mystery surrounds you, Dovey. I'm just glad you're better. Come, won't you dance with me? Come play with us. All right. Don't be shy. Dancing will be fun. Wow, cutscenes! This is top-notch Game Boy Color graphics! But yes, Din, Din is absolutely beautiful, I have to say. And you get to see Link dance, which is adorable. That was fun! You're a good dancer! It's been some time since I had such fun. Hey! Your left hand! It has a triangle on it! There's a sacred mark in Hyrule. If it's the true symbol, then you are a hero with a special fate, Dovey. 
Yeah, see, Link already knows that he's the hero of time and all that here. Or whatever it was he was the hero of in uh, Link's Awakening. This is one of the few games where you actually play the same Link, like, through consecutive games. It's a Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, and the Oracle games, I think, are all the same Link. A special fate! Dovi, I... Uh, nothing. <laughs> Let us dance. Also, the dialogue changes if you're playing the Link's games, which is pretty cool, but we'll go over that much later. In the meantime... Ha ha ha! I've found you. Din, Oracle of Seasons! You hid yourself well, but you cannot escape Onox, General of Darkness! Oh dear. Why do we not have our sword? Nice of you to get rid of everyone else. Yeah? Yeah, come at me, whirlwind! Get out of my way, boy! Ugh. Ah, Toby! Nerp, 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 ah! Oh dear. Whoa. So, uh, I just want to tell you guys how much I love Onox as a villain, because he's kind of awesome. He needs- he- he needed more- he needed more appearances in the Zelda series. What do you plan to do with me? As you know, if I imprison the Oracle of Seasons and bury the temple that houses the season spirits, the Seasons of Holodrum will be cast into chaos. Holodrum is the name of our world, spoilers. The bountiful gifts of nature will rot, and all living things perish! That is the world of darkness that I long for. No! Onox, no! <laughs> What's with women in Zelda series games getting stuck in crystals? I ask you. Down, Temple of Seasons! Spring, summer, fall, winter, fall into chaos! I, I love- I love how this looks. Just- everything's just cycling through all the seasons. <laughs> And we wake up and it's winter time. That's what the little icon in the corner showed us. Uh, I don't wanna get, oh god. Dovi, are you alright? Actually, I'm the nurse of Hyrule's Princess Zelda. Really? I would never have known by your name. And Din's no dancer either. Really? I would never have known she is actually the Oracle of Seasons who wields control over the forces of nature. Zelda has mystical powers that told of a curtain of shadow drawing around Din. I was instructed to take her to Hyrule in secret. Zelda gave me this quest. This is my quest! Sorry. But ow, I've been wounded, and I won't be able to travel for some time. Tovi, I know not why you were lying in the woods, but you and Din were fated to meet. If the triangle in your left hand is real, then you may be the hero who will save the world. Please, use your power to aid Din! Please take my message to the Maku Tree in Horon Village. Mako? No. Unfortunately not. The Maku Tree is the guardian of all Holodrum. Surely he can help. He can help. And don't call me Shirley. But anyway, uh, we have to go there because we don't have a sword, so we can't cut through bushes. Spoiler alert! We're Genghis Sword. Hello, old man yelling at a cat. Look, no matter how much I call her, my precious mittens will come down. If only I had a favorite tree, fish. So the mechanic you're going to see in this game is that all the areas are in their wrong seasons, which is kind of awesome, um, except for the town here. Horon Village is special because every time you enter and exit it, it will change its season. Uh, that doesn't really affect anything specific in town for the most part. Uh, it does affect a few things, but it's just cool. Uh, but the outer areas, like here, are always going to be whatever season they've been thrown into. So, uh, our job is hopefully going to be correcting that. So now it's spring. 
This is Horon Village. Hey, I've never seen you before. The manga tree? Head east. Hey, kid. I'm stepping on your head. If you get onto the flower, you could shoot up the cliff, too. It works only in spring when flowers bloom, so I'm getting my fill of it. All right. Yeah, so you stand on those flowers and you can use this little platform. Yay. But, uh, yeah, let's head to the Maku Tree and then we'll explore the rest of town here because there is a nice amount to check out. And there's a piece of heart, but we cannot get to it. Well, the Maku Tree is up here. What does the sign say? Maku Tree Gate. Show courage to gain passage. How the heck am I supposed to do that? Hello. No, you're not. Help. In the west part of town are the know-it-all birds. See them if you have a question. Okay, fine dog. Ignore me. Ah, uh, yeah, over here we have... Do come in. I'm Vasu, the jeweler. Is this your first time? But let me explain jewelry. Rings made from mystical seeds have very mystical powers. If you wear one, its mystical power will be passed to you. But you must keep it in your ring box. The mystical power will gradually weaken you won't be able to use it. Okay, sure. Oh, you don't have a ring box? I like you. So here, take this ring box. How convenient. You got a level one ring box. It can hold one ring. Take this ring as a sign of our friendship. You got a ring. Get it appraised. See, so yeah, you get these rings and they're all un unappraised. And you have to bring them to Vasu and he'll appraise them for you. Until you've had a ring appraised and its power revealed, you cannot wear it. Let's appraise it. All right. Yes. I see. I call this a friendship ring. Symbol of a meeting. I'll appraise this for free this time, but after this, it'll be 20 rupees per ring. If you get two of the same ring, I'll buy one for 30 rupees. Now the list. Appraised rings get added to the list. When you want a ring, move it from your list to your box. Talk to me. This is your list. Let's take a peek at it now. Yeah, so you just put the ring up there, and that's it. Rings do nothing unless worn. Yeah, okay. I keep trying to press X and Y. Uh, right. So, uh, you press start to go into your menu here, you press select to move along the, uh, uh, from screen to screen because there's no L and R button yet in the Game Boy Color days. Uh, let's equip the friendship ring despite the fact that it does absolutely nothing! Um, and on the last screen here we have the save screen. Uh, but yeah, just press start again to get out. The controls are pretty simple, A, B, start, and select. Um, that, <laughs> that's all we've got. Um, so yeah, we have a tree down here, which looks a bit different, we'll check that out a little later. Uh, we have a house over here and a chest behind some water, we can't swim in this game. Mmm, the light is in here is too dim to read by, can anyone light my fire? Come on baby, light my fire. So he's kind of like the Mr. Right uh, character from uh, uh, Link's Awakening, I like it. He's Mr. No, is he Mr. No, I forgot his name. Uh, historian, I don't know. It's an old bum here. Do you know the hero's cave near the western coast? The hero's sword is said to be hidden there, but no one has ever found it. Really? Hey there. Our guardian, the Mako Tree, stands beyond the gate to the east of town. It is said a hero with a sword will come to speak with him. I wonder if it's true. This guy always looks like a walrus to me, so I call him the walrus. Uh, we can't do anything in here. Mysterious portal. Also, those tree stumps will become... Useful later. Let's go into this house. Hi there. I'm Bippin! I'm sorry. No, I'm not gonna give him an annoying. I'm Bippin, the expert of... Oh, <laughs> Arborist. I was about to say abortionist because I can't read and that would be terrible, Dovey. Arborist. 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 He's not an arsonist either. I know plenty about trees. Now let me tell you something. Blossom and I just had our first child. Yes, we did! Have a look! I am Blossom. Bippin' and Blossom. This is my first child. A healthy baby boy. But I'm having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? What would you call him? Stonger's fit? No. One sec. Nope, well, I've decided that this baby is going to be named after a friend of mine. Mr. Wateraith, it's going to be... Excuse me, that's supposed to be J. It's supposed to be... Juan. It was going to be Wonderful One, but there is a character limit. Because Game Boy Color. You would name him Juan? 
<laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> TBH. No. It's a fine name. That's what I call him. He seems happy to have it. Come visit us anytime. So we're going to be coming back to see them later because, yeah. So the name is decided. What? It is a fine name. I hope he grows to be a fine child. <laughs> uh, oh, I feel so bad for you. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be seeing them because they are... Well, they're just going to be sticking around forever. Uh, we got a shop here with nothing in it. Also, I'm sorry, sir, you cannot enter here without a member's card. Are you curious? What's back there is a secret. <laughs> yeah, we can't go in there, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, up here. I'm gonna finish exploring the town. That's gonna be it for the episode. Uh, we got the clockmaker. I wanna make a cuckoo clock better than before, but I can't find a word bird that I like. Oh, that's just, that one's just breathtaking. Yeah. Mayor, rules residence. The Maku tree. Yeah, so... We're gonna have to remember most of these people because they'll be important later. Uh, let's go visit the mayor. Are you the mayor? This is the mayor's home. The mayor is fascinated with gasha nuts now. The place, pl uh, the planter and the planters, these affect what the nut produces. The mayor found a good place recently, so he's quite happy. Hello. I'm Rule. Hi, Rule. Ha 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 ha. Uh. I'll just let that joke sink in for a little bit. Mayor of Horon Village. Do you have any gasha seeds? If you plant one in softer, they'll grow into a tree that bears nuts. Inside those nuts, you'll find all sorts of things. It's so fun, I can't help myself. There's some soft earth just outside. Plant it there. You don't know about gasha seeds? You're missing out! I'll give you my prized gasha seed to welcome you to town. You got a gasha seed. Plant it in a patch of soft soil. There's some soft earth just outside, planted there. Alright. Let's go do that. Also, I love the music in this game. Anyway, when you get gosh seeds, you find these little patches of earth, and you plant it. And then you come back later. I'm not really sure what the time uh, amount or what's required to get those things to plant, but... Uh, yeah, you come back later, and, uh, they turn to trees, and you can get stuff. The seasons are a mess. Winter goes straight into summer. What's going on? What's going on? This old lady is going to be farming this patch of grass, no matter what season it is. Goes from hot to cold in a flash, and she's another chaos. What will it do this year's harvest? Apparently nothing. This is the house of the wise know-it-all birds. See them if you have questions. Okay, so now this bothers me. This house is open if you're playing on the Game Boy Advance. But since we're playing the Virtual Console version, it's closed. Because it's a Virtual Console for the Game Boy Color. Which is dumb, because they should have programmed that in. Uh, if I were playing this on the Game Boy Player, uh, which I was thinking of doing as I said earlier, then it would be open and you could buy extra things and the extra things are really it, it's a it's a, an extra ring of gashina and maybe another ring i'm not really sure um they're just needed for 100 percent completion but they don't affect the game in any way and we have birds here tutorial birds that i'm not going to talk to but we can learn about subscreens we can learn about saving we can learn about maps we can learn about mystical seeds we can learn about the hero's skill Oh, it's talking about the spin attack, okay. Shield tactics, no. Bombs? No. Items, no. Seasons, no, not really. Essences, no, we'll get to those later too. But anyway, um, yeah, we have to go find a sword in order to, find the ma to get to the Maka Tree, but that's going to have to wait till next time. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth Before with The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.